Well, I think we all can appreciate that the pace of competition is accelerating, that, that uh, transformations, disruptions are hitting us more quickly. And what that means is that your ability to uh, adapt quickly to changes becomes a central competitive advantage. And I think that adaptation is transformation, the ability to transform, to be relevant to the future when the future's changing a lot. So it becomes the central competitive advantage. So I've been really interested in transformation that's driven from employees as opposed to from the top down. And I think that we need to make a little bit of this mental shift of moving away from the architect at the top of the corporation that is, sees the new structures and able to cascade those down and really activate people internally. And if we look at what their barriers are, those barriers are often not understanding what the company needs. Uh, feeling like they don't have the power to transform, and then some of the basic skills in terms of understanding how to manage internal politics, how to conduct agile experiments, the kind of the core skills to be able to drive a transformation from the bottom up. I think that we need to appreciate how change happens and that it does not happen from the top down, it's not the CEO transforming the company. It's also not the entrepreneur, and many people believe that it's the small companies that are agile enough to transform and become big, but actually my research shows that 70% of the most meaningful innovations in society have come from employees working in established companies, and so what I'm really passionate about, what I believe we need to do, is we need to really focus on the narrative of the internal entrepreneur. So, you know, I looked at when companies produced really exciting innovations like uh, Amazon Web Services, where did that come from, right? And, uh, or Ikea, how did it come up with the idea of the flat flap box? Um, and I interviewed about 150 internal innovators to understand kind of what their stories were, because these weren't innovations that the CEO came up with. Um, they weren't innovations that the company immediately recognized as good ones. And really, it's the, it's, the, it's the lone internal innovator who fights against all the no's and all the bureaucracy, who's not encouraged but has the perseverance, the courage, the grit to see it through. And so that's what my research has really been about, is what is that journey? Because it's not the entrepreneurial journey. It's different in many dimensions and we really need to understand that, we need to celebrate it, we need to learn from it. Um, so that's what my passion right now and research area is.